Let me give you guys an example of what I mean to put it in your decals correctly. You can see from the, this image right here is completely squared and this is rectangle. Mainly the square decal is actually incorrect. It was actually wrong. The reason why is because the importing of your texture is completely squared off and correctly the decal would actually be a rectangle shape. So this one's correct. So I'm going to show you guys how this how I got this to work. And this is, I'm going to put a check mark. Green is okay. Red is not okay. Let's say I'm using right now, Photoshop is going to be my whiteboard. So what's going on is, let's say this is my decal. I My width is going to be 2048 pixels. Length is going to be 10, 24 pixels. When you have a shape like this, or a custom shape that you're trying to X, I mean, import inside of Substance Painter, you have to think about, I would say, the aspect ratio of your decal. So mainly when you're, this is what's happening, what's gonna happen when you put something in Substance Painter. I'm gonna just do this kind of like badly, which is not purposely, but it's gonna try to square it. So I'm just using a free transform tool just to say, you know what? This is what is gonna most likely happen. It's gonna try to constrict it to a square. And that's what is gonna happen inside of Substance Painter. So let's jump into, well, I'm gonna jump into the example. Here, I, we're at the example decal that I'm gonna put this danger sign on. So, Right now, I've already I already adjusted my canvas size to 1024 by 1024, so it actually includes a power of two. You know, 16, 64, 128, goes on and on, just to keep the pixels exactly the same and exactly in in a squared canvas type of canvas. I mean, I would say. If I could actually create the math for it, it's, I mean, you get what exactly I'm kind of talking about, in a sense. It's being saved out as a, P, as a PNG, and we're going to go, I'm going to switch over to Substance Painter. So, inside of Substance Painter, I've already took, well, mainly my finished propane tank. And I've already turned off the layer so I can actually show you guys a demonstration of what's going to happen. So you right now see this is completely squared. So right now I just dragged in our new image or a new perfect PNG image. And right now it is the perfect resolution size that the decal is supposed to be at. So right now I'm just going to paint this awesome little decal just to finish this off or this little example or a little tip tutorial on how you actually get your decals in correctly without your resolution being locked away by subs by algorithmics little defaults in their importing your textures in so right now i'm just gonna give you a quick example of what I'm doing so just wait and s just wait and sit back and relax and just watch so right now there's gonna be a tiny bit of issue the only thing I'm only gonna have to be concerned with is that there's gonna be a little rut there might be some cleanup work to it where you just have to just do a quick little cleanup with your brush and when you create a new when you create a white mask. So you just have to do a little bit of cleanup and then you can do whatever you want to your decal. So right now, I am just changing this over to a white, I kind of made that mistake where it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna create a black mask. No, you need a white mask. And it's like, mistakes happen. Just, and right now I'm just gonna choose a quick little mask, but this kind of concludes the tutorial of how you actually get your decals in correctly inside of Substance Painter. I mean, there's, I mean, like I said, there's 
billions or thousands, mainly billions is a little bit of a stretch, but there are thousands of videos saying, yeah, this is how you do your decals, blah, 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 but they don't really talk about what happens if you're in this type of situation when you have a custom decal that you want there, but the re resolution's gonna be locked away. That's the only issue that I'm gonna have. So mainly what is left is, as you, as you can see on the right side of the decal that I would mainly just have to create another mask or a white mask and just paint black so I don't get that information inside my texture. So I don't have to have a decal that has extra roughness painted somewhere on the model that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So right now I'm just adding I'm just adding a little cool little mask or a little smart mask just to get me some get me started just to recreate or show you guys recreating a a decal that actually works from being perfect to being awesome. If you guys like the video or you have any questions